What is a confounder and why should we care? Nerdigal Trana wrote an excellent article about this on our Substack, and I'm here to give you the main points. Confounders, also called confounding variables, are factors that affect both the supposed cause and effect in a study, which can lead to misleading conclusions if not properly addressed. Common examples include age, gender, and socioeconomic status. For instance, a study might find that people who eat kale are healthier, but these people might also exercise regularly and eat other healthy foods. If these other factors aren't considered, it might wrongly appear that eating kale alone is responsible for better health. This shows the challenge of healthy user bias, where people who practice one healthy habit are often practicing many, making it hard to pinpoint a single cause and effect relationship. It's important to understand and address confounders to avoid incorrect conclusions about cause and effects in a study. Scientists use different methods to reduce the impact of confounders, like designing studies with similar groups of people or using statistical techniques to control for them. For example, studies on breastfeeding and children's test scores must consider factors like parental education and income, which also affect test outcomes. Similarly, early studies on Paxlovid and COVID rebound initially suggested a direct link, but later research showed that factors like age and immune system strength were influencing the results. Properly accounting for confounders helps ensure more accurate findings, so it's important to think critically when interpreting scientific studies and health information. Check out our Substack for, and social media pages for more information.